I invite you to find any easy seat that feels good for you as we are using our seated pose to help relax, ground, and unwind our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, tucked in at our navel. Our spinal cords are elongated, meaning we are not sunken. We have control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes as we take a nice deep intentional breath in. Hold the breath, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, if that feels good for us. As we are gazing our eyes down, or maybe our eyes are closing, as we are going inward, focusing on self, noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, being aware without judgment. During our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds, we may become distracted, May we take notice of what is going on around us or what is going on within us without judgment. Always being kind and loving to oneself. As we flow our palms onto the earth, we are connecting to our environment. Taking a breath in, filling the lungs with air. Exhale. Release in the air. As we connect to our environment, may we always be mindful of what is going on around us at all times. May we be mindful of how we feel and how situations make us feel. Mindfulness is the key and noticing what makes us feel good and what doesn't is essential listening to the vibes of our environment, listening to the vibes of the energies within us. For they let us know what is. As we relax here in our silent meditation for natural breath. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into a seated salute, palms are together, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. <clears throat> pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up. As we allow our arms to flow towards the back of the room. And you may feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. We're gonna hold this three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, separating our palms, coming into a seated extended mountain. Twisting our bodies towards the right, lowering our palms downward towards the earth as we gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. This seated twist relaxes and soothes the spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Exhale back to center as we flow into our seated star. Our palms are out towards the side. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. Twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Spinal twist. Opposite side. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale. 
Exhale back to center, flowing into that star. Breathing to that salute, palms above the head. Exhale to prayer, breathing our palms down with our heart center, relaxing those shoulders away from the hips. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Maybe at this moment, our mind and our bodies are soothing and relaxing. Maybe. And if it is not, that is a okay. Take a notice as we continue to flow. Always being kind to ourselves, never judging. As we flow our bodies onto our hands and our knees coming into a tabletop pose. Our knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. As we drop down to our cow, this cow pose, this cow pose works the lumbar back. Chin is slightly up. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. This cow pose is great for lower back pain. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into cat. Chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to cow. Flow into our cat. Come into our tabletop. As we breathe our right leg towards the back, we're gonna work on our sunbird pose here. So right leg is straight towards the back. We are balancing and strengthening our bodies here. And if we choose, we can breathe that left arm forward coming into that full sunbird. As we are gaze forward, tucking our tummy in at our navel. We're gonna hold this pose, four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flow on back to bird. We're gonna hold this. Gazing forward, pulsing that right leg up. Working at gluteus maximus. We are rounding and lifting that buttocks. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause. Exhale to table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Going back to our table as we breathe our left leg towards the back. Feeling that stretch? Palms are flat on the earth as we balance and strengthen. And if we choose, we can breathe that right arm forward, coming into that full sunburn. Tummies are tucked at our navel, gazing forward. Four breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Low into bird. Holding his pose. Pulsing that left leg up. Rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. On the opposite side, four breaths. Two breaths, filling a pause. Finding our pause. Exhale to table, dropping down to cow. Allowing the mind and body to relax here. Filling this in our lumbar spine, chin is up. Exhale into cat. Flowing back to our table. <sighs> Pushing our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Mm -hmm. 
pushing our torso towards our thighs, allowing our bodies to stretch and lengthen here. As we walk our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding that pause, breathing that right leg up in the air, three-legged dog, gazing back at the foot. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our pause, three-legged dog, opposite side, left leg flows up in the air. Two more breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Mm. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna drop to our forearms, coming into a dolphin, gazing back at our feet. Our buttocks is nice and high in the air. Dolphin pose. This dolphin prepares the mind and body for headstand. Four breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna flow into a wide-legged child pose. Allowing our torso to relax between our thighs. Our buttocks comes downward towards our heels. We're gonna come into an extended child pose. Forms are extended in front of us with our palms flat on the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead, is connected to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward as we soothe and relax here. Five natural breaths. Three breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spine away our bodies out of our wide legged child's pose. It's using our palms to push our torso forward and using our palms to push our butt out back towards our hips. And feeling that wave in your hips, allowing those hip flexors here, feel your hips, allow it to wave, and you'll feel your lumbar spine stretch smooth and relax. And when you wave in, you'll feel it in your thoracic, which is the um, middle part of your spine. Flowing up to your cervical, which is your neck. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we find our at the table, we're going to come to a tabletop, dropping down to one. Cow. Relaxing here in cow. Chin is up. Flow into our cat. Coming back to our table, pushing our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Allowing our torso to relax over our thighs here. Head melts downward towards the earth. We're gonna hold this for breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold, slightly gazing forward, back is straight. 
Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. Coming back down to a complete forward fold. As we flow into a rag dial, connecting our hands to our elbows, allowing that head to relax and soothe. And if we choose, we can rock and sway our body side to side here in our rag dial. Noticing how that feels behind your legs and your hamstrings. Five breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming to a half forward fold. Breathing up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. Standing nice and tall here in our mountain. As our feet are planted to the earth, heart chakras open, chin is up. Gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears as we are standing nice, strong, tall, and firm. And may we be firm in our decisions when it's right for us. May we be tall in where we are headed. May our feet, may our feet be planted. May we be rooted, may we be grounded no matter what and where we are in life always still grounded, always going into. And if we should float, maybe come back down, grounding ourselves. Taking a moment to check in with body. Checking a moment, to, taking a moment to check in with self. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute. Interlacing our fingers together, pointing finger points up towards the heavens. As our arms flow slightly towards the back, coming into this slight back bend. Exhale into center. We're going to separate our palms coming into that standing extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. Leaning our bodies towards the right, coming into that standing side bend. Gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Exhale into center, standing side bend, opposite side. Three breaths. Exhale and back to center, breathing our palms together. Exhale, standing prayer, palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders down and away from the ears. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold, gazing forward. Backs are nice and long. Three breaths. Two breaths. Bending our knees, coming into that chair pose. We are in our chair. Palms can be at heart center, or we can extend our palms in front of us in that extended chair. Building strength in our legs, the lower parts of our bodies. Three breaths. Two breaths. Palms at heart center, twisting our bodies towards the right. Chair pose twist, three breaths. Exhale center, chair pose twist opposite side. Three breaths. Exhale center, chair pose, pray your hands, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. <sighs> relaxing that head downward towards the relaxing that head downward towards the yoga mat. Allowing the body to relax in two. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Three 
Walking our hands forward, bringing our feet to the back, down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog, pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding our pause, breathing our right foot to our right hand, running lunge. Drop it down to our left knee, low lunge. Pushing our torsos away from our thigh as we flow into our crescent lunge. Breathing our arms above our heads. Chin is up, heart chakras open. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, frame it at front foot. Taking that knee off here, back in that runner's lunge. Exhale to our pyramid, straightening that front knee. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down towards that knee. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to our warrior two. Building strength in our lower parts of our bodies as we are balancing and feeling nice and strong here. Palms can be down, palms can be up. Whatever feels good for you. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior. Right arm flows over that head. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to side angle, crossing that right arm over that right thigh. Or extended side angle, left arm goes up in the air. Or flows over that head. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to side angle, bringing that left arm downwards. Maybe behind our backs. Coming, we're gonna straighten that right leg, flowing into our triangle, bringing that right hand down to our right ankle or feet. We also can use that yoga mat shoes in that triangle, extending that left arm back up in the air. Feeling that stretch. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back out to that extended side angle, bending that front knee. Right arm comes over that front knee. Exhaling back up to warrior two. Flow into warrior one, twisting that body forward. Both arms are up in the air. Coming to that pyramid, straightening that front leg. <sighs> Flow into runner's lunge, bend that neck front leg. Exhale down low, gazing at the feet. Walk in the door by pedal on the feet, left and right. Tummies are nice and tight, tuck at the navel. As we find our pause, breathing our left foot to our left hand, runner's lunge opposite side. Dropping our right knee down to the earth, low lunge. Feeling that stretch. This low lunge prepares the body for split, by the way. Pushing our torsos away from our thighs. Breathing out once above our heads. Crescent lunge. Gazing up at the heavens. Heart chakras open. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, framing that front foot, taking that right knee off the earth, back in that runner's lunge. Exhale to pyramid, straightening that front leg, torso melts over that thigh, head melts downward towards the knee, feeling that full stretch. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to run this lunge. Flowing up to our warrior two. Building strength 
in our lower bodies, arms to the front, arms to the back, feeling powerful. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into reverse warrior, left arm flows over the head, feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into side angle, crossing that left arm over that left thigh. Or extended side angle, right arm, right arm goes over the head. Or up in the air. Four breaths. Two breaths. Coming back into a side angle, bringing that right one back down. We're gonna breathe, we're gonna straighten out that left leg. We're gonna bring this left hand downward towards the ankle. We're gonna come into a triangle. Lifting that right arm up in the air. And if we need to use the yoga block in our triangle, we may fill in that stretch. Take a nice, settled breath. Two more. Breaths. Exhale and out of that triangle. Coming back to a warrior two. Exhale, warrior one, body twist forward. Both arms are up in the air, bodies twisted. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Let's go back to warrior one. Straightening that front leg, we're gonna flow into our pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head comes downward towards that knee, feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into a runner's lunge. Flow into a runner's lunge, bend the neck front knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Coming on to our forearms. Coming onto our forearms, coming into a dolphin. Dropping down to our knees as we come into an extended puppy pose. Puppy pose is very similar to a child's pose, but in our puppy pose, our buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes downward towards the earth. And our extended puppy pose, our arms are extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. And we're going to hold this pose for five natural breaths. Noticing how this feels in the lumbar spine and throughout the rest of your body. Third eye out. Third eye chakra is connected to the earth. Five breaths. Two more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. I mean, I pause that center. Palms are flat on the earth, knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna drop down to a cow. Chin is up. Exhale to cat. Go into our table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose. Go into our backs, coming into a reclined position. Bringing our knees in towards our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest. Mm. 
Gazing our eyes down, closing our eyes. As we extend our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose, or invisible wall, with our toes pointed up towards the heavens, we are in the to flex, aka ballerina's feet. Reaching our hands down to the lower parts of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. But that's come slightly off the earth. This is a full body stretch. Three breaths. Exhale, legs back up on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. As we flow our knees towards the left, we find spinal twist. Feel the next spinal foot twist and soothe here. Relax in that body. Shoulder blades melt back into the earth as our right arm flows out to the side like a T. Gazing over that right shoulder or gazing up at the heavens if that feels good for us. Take a nice set of breaths here. Feeling the body soothe and relax. Five breaths. Three breaths. Exhale to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Breathing our knees to the opposite side, recline spinal twist, left side. <sighs> Sorry, recline spinal twist, right side, knees fall to the right. Left arm goes to the side like a T as we gaze over our left arm or gaze up at the heavens with our shoulder blades melted back into the yoga mat. Eyes are closed to gaze down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Feel the next spinal cord soothe. Relax. Five natural breaths. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. Exhaling legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. Reaching our hands down to the backs of our feet, breathing our feet towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing our knees into our chest. Feet come flat on the earth, knees are in the air. We're gonna work on our bridge pose here, using our feet and our hands to lift our pelvic forward. We are in our pelvic tilt. We are in our bridge pose. You'll feel us in your gluteus maximus, as well as your lumbar spine, your lower back. We can walk our hands together. We can bring our hands together under our buttocks. Walking our shoulder blades towards our spine as our chest comes higher in the air, as well as our pelvic bone. Now we are in that nice deep bridge. As we pulse our gluteus maximus, our hips up in the air, feeling that burn here in the gluteus maximus. Pulse in the body, six breaths. Three more breaths. Pulse in the body up. We're gonna hold it nice and tight, squeeze in that glute. Squeeze in that booty as maximus. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fill in that burn, four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Uninterlacing the fingers, untucking those shoulders, breathing the knees into the chest, hugging those knees into the chest. Legs up in the air, legs on the wall. As we use our hands to separate our legs, coming into a decline wide-legged stretch here. 
Legs come out to the side. Feeling that stretch here in our inner thighs. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Using our hands to bring our legs back in. Bringing our knees to our chest. We're going to flow into a happy baby. Feet are up in the air. Knees are the chest. Hands come between the thighs. Out to the side. Connecting to our feet. We are relaxing and soothing here in our happy baby. And we can rock our body from side to side. If that feels good for us. Using the earth to relax and soothe that spine. Five breaths. You can stay still also if you want. Happy baby. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale. Coming out of that happy baby. Legs up in the air. Legs on the wall pose. Toes are pointed towards the heavens. Plants are flexed. Breathing those legs towards our torso. Buttocks comes off the earth. Three breaths. Exhale back up to legs in the air. Breathing our knees to our chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles. Tummies are nice and tight. As we bring our bodies up, we're going to do a nice tummy crunch here. Coming up to a boat pose. Abdominal muscles, core, our core muscles are nice and tight. Coming up to that boat pose. We can keep our feet crossed if we choose. We can bring them side by side or up in the air. Whatever feels best for you. Tummy's tight, backs are nice and long, eight is here. Five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Bringing our hands in, we're going to pulse our hands from side to side. Working on our obliques as well as our core. Five, let's make it six breaths. Four more breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pulse, breathing our knees to our chest, feet come to the hand. Backs are nice and straight. Tummies are tight at our navel, tucked at our navel. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Feeling that stretch as we extend that left leg out to the side. Bring it back in if we choose. Extend that right leg to the side, feeling that stretch in our hamstrings here behind our legs. Breathe it back in if you choose. Heart chakra is still open. Spinal cord is elongated. As we breathe that left leg back out to the side, for the that stretch. Breathing that right leg out to the side. We are in our boat pose variation. Tummies are tight at the navel. Spinal cord is nice and long. If we're falling over, maybe be mindful of our spinal cord being long. Because with our spinal cord long, that's how we stay up. When we sunk our backs, we may fall over. Four more breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our legs inward. Closing off that V. Two more breaths. Chin is open. Chin is up. Widening that V, widening those legs, coming into that wide-legged V. Exhale, bending the knees, breathing the legs in down position, coming into that diamond or that butterfly. <sighs> Shoulders are relaxed away from the ear. Spinal cords nice and long. Heart chakras open. Chin is up as we flow into our cow. Head relaxes between our shoulder blades. Three breaths. Exhale to cat. Chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord flows towards the back. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly. 
and our butterfly, our feet are closer. And our diamond, our feet are further away. The difference in the two poses is that you'll feel it more in a diamond in your hips. It's a deeper hip flexor. Where it's sort of, I'm sorry, in your butterfly, it's a deeper hip flexor. Whereas your diamond is not as deep. Using our hands to bring our legs inward, we're going to flow that onto our backs. <sighs> Hold the our knees into our chest. Gaze in our eyes down and close in our eyes. As we straighten our legs parallel side by side, coming into the Shavasana. The sides of our feet are connected. Shoulder blades are melted back into the yoga mat. As we allow our feet to fall completely to the side, this allows our legs to completely relax. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Using this time to go inward, relaxing and soothing. Checking in with self, showing a little self-care. Noticing how we feel and noticing how we felt during our session. Noticing the thoughts that arose. Being aware of the feelings without judgment, simply noticing. Keeping in mind to always be kind to oneself. As we relax and soothe here in silent meditation for seven natural breaths. As we roll onto our sides and our feet pose, keeping our eyes closed if that feels good. We're gonna hang out here and feed us for four more breaths. Two breaths. Slowly wiggling our toes, rotating our hips, wakening our bodies up. Using that top hand to push our bodies up into a seated pose. Feel free to stay in the recline position, a resting pose with that feels good for you. I'm going to come into a cow face. May you find any pose position that feels good for you that you want to relax and close your session out in today. Any relaxing pose of choice listening to your mind and body, seeing what feels best for you. Always keeping in mind that my voice is just a guide. You always have the final say as to what your body needs and wants. Our tummies are nice and tight, tucked in at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken, having control of that body, building that nice strong posture. Shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we gaze our eyes down and close our eyes, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Breathing our palms at heart center if that feels good. Thumbs touching the sternum, the center of your chest, if you choose. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing 
when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light of me sees, appreciates, and respects the lights in you all. Namaste.